that new gaming craze of Pokemon Go. It's only a week old, but the numbers playing every day could soon rival Twitter. Uh, the game brings the online world out into the real world, and J TJ is all over it. You're out in the world as part of the fun, uh, TJ. You reported yesterday that you know it also brings some dangers. Uh, it does, and George, right now, I don't know what the world is coming to, all right? Because one day after this app launched, it already had more users than Tinder. Look, what you swipe for on your phone is your business, whether that's a Pikachu or a pretty lady. But people love this thing right now, but it turns out you need to be looking out for more than just little critters. One week after its launch, Pokemon Go is already a phenomenon and has legions of fans wandering around face down in their smartphones. I'm 100% hooked. I got it, yes. This is crazy. The wildly popular gaming app blends the real world with a virtual world, using smartphones, GPS info to send players on a scavenger hunt of sorts for Pokemon, little animated critters that you have to walk around to collect. It says I got a Pokemon right here in Central Park, right in front of me. I come to the spot and hit a button and I acquire it. But what seems like just fun and games is now, in some cases, creating real life dangers. In Missouri this week, three teenagers were charged with armed robbery after allegedly staking out specific game locations, then waiting for distracted players, their potential victims, to show up. The companies behind the app tell ABC News that they encourage all people playing Pokemon Go to be aware of their surroundings and to play with friends when going to new or unfamiliar places. Please remember to be safe and alert at all times. Part of the app is to lure you to these places that are in your local community so you can hopefully catch Pokemon. And bringing all these people together in one place could have safety concerns of its own. People who are really distracted on their phones and kind of easily uh, easy targets to swipe things from. Meanwhile, in Washington state, police say players have been coming to their police department seemingly snooping around outside the building looking for Pikachus. If you feel the need to run around playing Pokemon Go, that's cool. Just be smart about it. Lori Batio is an officer with the Duval Police Department. One way of not playing smart is to go creeping around behind the police department in the early morning hours. This is high on our list of things which are not cool right now. The other potential danger, walking into something or someone. Safety issues. I because everybody's walking like three people. This is worse than texting, right? It's a lot worse, oh, but it's worth the risk. Boone Sheridan lives in a converted church that the game labels a gym. Hot spots where players can train their Pokemon. We have people coming to coming to hang out in front of our house. Um, people will walk by. They'll spend five, ten minutes on the sidewalk in front of our house. <laughs> it seems Pokemon fanatics just can't get enough. It's super nerdy, though, but like nerdy <laughs> is the new cool, so it, it works out, I think. Pikachu! All right, before you shake your heads at it here, folks, this app added some $7.5 billion in value to Nintendo, the maker, not too long ago. Part of the problem with this thing is you end up floating around like that, seriously, looking for Pokemon. Now, this is my avatar here. I know you see the resemblance, right? Uh, but you walk around and you try to find it. So I know you all about to talk to Sonny about some legal issues here. I'm going to walk around and find one and come back to you in a second. And I'll show you how this works. Well, good luck, TJ. <laughs> Sonny is right here. Sonny Austin, our legal correspondent. And let's talk about this. You got the game right there. I got the game. I saw my son playing with it in the yard. I downloaded it. I will tell you, it is highly addictive. But when I went out into the yard, I tripped over my dogs, fell, <laughs> and then I trespassed onto my neighbor's property. And so it's a lawsuit waiting to happen. That's what I saw when I played. I saw personal injury issues, right? Because you could yeah. be crossing the street, sure. get hit by a car because you're looking for something. But you think um, you, could, you could sue the game maker over that? I think it's possible. I mean, it's a lawsuit waiting to happen. Any lawyer that's looking for, you know, a little bit See, of work may take a case like this on. I think the mm. bigger problem I would have, if I were that guy Boone, who has a, a converted church as a house and all these yes. people in my yard. Yeah. I think about suing for that. I, I could, you could sue for that, but also think about criminal activity. Because the bottom line is criminals are looking for opportunity. And so if you have a GPS and you're letting criminals know where you are mm -hmm. and the criminals want to rob you, and it's, it's sort of encouraging that kind of communal activity, can, it could be problematic. Can they make any private home Part of their app. They should not be able to make any private home. It's supposed to be only public places, but mistakes do happen. I know you said should not. It <laughs> should not. Mistakes should do not. happen. But I want to say it, there are some pros to this as well because it, it, it's. <laughs> you're about to knock over the disc. <laughs> <laughs> it is encouraging children to get out and explore and exercise. That's and 
that's that sounds a positive. Good. It's better that's than sitting in a dark it's basement. It's yeah. encouraging children, but most of these people we're seeing are adults. I, I, I yes. am an adult, and I was playing with it. <laughs> TJ actually has a unicorn, and I, I don't understand how that Wait, happened. Did you find anything yet? You all take the shot right now. I don't get that. And see where the Pokemon is sitting. I have nothing. You all see that? Right, it's like, sitting right. on the desk right it, in front of you. But, but I, I don't so see it. how do you it. get it? You just throw this little Pokeball at him and knock his head off. <laughs> <laughs> But to the point that you all are making, you all, you, I was actually doing this honestly, and you had to say, TJ, watch out, you're about to knock my computer exactly. over. Exactly. You are zoned in, trying to figure this thing out, people walking down the street doing this, mm -hmm. reports of injuries and all kinds of issues. Lawsuits but, waiting yeah. to happen. Yeah, but as Sonny was touching on, too, uh, we're hearing from a lot of people saying at least they're not sitting at home. They're yes. getting out, mm -hmm. they're getting some activity, as yeah. you said. My they're son getting was some out exercise. in the yard, and yeah. I liked seeing that. But we already say, don't walk in the street and look at your phone. Yep. Now, this is just adding it's another layer to that. But this game is not available in Canada. So um, our friends up there, some guy up there who's decided, since it's not um, available in Canada, Canada yet, he's going to create his own. So he oh. has he's thrown his poke ball at his pet. <laughs> he's just waiting for the game to get there. He's a little behind the time. So he's created his own little Pokemon game. Yeah. He, needs never lost he needs to get outside. <laughs> <Right>. exactly. <laughs> the dog. The dog. The dog. A tennis yeah, like ball across the yard. Right? <laughs> <laughs> all right then. Well, now, now we've got that all set. Yeah.